A lot of times uh, I get into uh, invites to come and uh, MC at, at events. Yeah. And so I show up and they're like, I was always kicking. And I'm like, well, I'm here. I'm like, but you're a child. Yeah. <laughs> you get Dinner with somebody, dead mm. or alive. Dead or alive. Who would it be? That would be, that would be crazy digging them up. Uh, <laughs> talking about the maggots and stuff. Uh, <laughs> would they eat? Because <laughs> my biggest dream was seeing my school burn down. I was being told in the morning, wait, guess what? There's a school burnt down. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Do you know who the happiest kids were when Sevo said, and now the lockdown is here? Kids in school are the happiest. Exactly. Yes. So, joining me today on the podcast is the one and only KK. Karim Katuramu, yeah, KK for short, yeah. and he is a media personality. I feel like all my friends are media personalities, <laughs> but KK, KK, you've been radio, TV, yeah. you have your own sports show yeah. that you created, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now so actually, you guys created it and then they and put then, me on it. They but you look like you created it, so yeah. I think you just take the credit for that as well. For it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've hosted well, a podcast as yeah. well. Yeah, you've hosted yeah. a podcast as well. Not radio, remember, we did that. Yes. yes! 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 I remember with Brady and Sima. There you go. Yay! Yay. Welcome to the show. I'm a media ho. <laughs> Be- media ho. Yeah. But before we even like get into the, the discussion, yeah. I just want to first of all give you your flowers. KK is the reason that I am in the media. Okay, I mean, have exaggerated a little bit. But yeah. you're one of the reasons. I remember one day, one specific day. You know yeah. like those things when you have one specific memory? Yeah. I was in school and I was listening to radio yeah. sanyu at the time yeah and you were on yes and you were, it was a saturday and it was countdown. like a countdown yes two to four and you know what song like first of all the song that played was live your life Ooh, rihanna and ti this is 2008 yes and Nine. you were the one presenting and you ah oh, i was like oh my god this guy is the coolest guy in life why don't you jump and now here school? we are why don't you jump and come i, I was on that <laughs> like i was in the final <laughs> stretch i was like but i no, might as well finish but you know our story continues because then afterwards i saw auditions for um uh, rated next is yes. on one yeah. and i met some of my best friends in that thingy that, yeah. there was you there was cynthia yeah. and a bunch of others and i thought you were the coolest kid i ever saw yeah yeah and and like as we stand right now how long have you been in the media well we're sitting so uh, <laughs> 16 years <laughs> 16 years though 16 years because or seven yeah till now or 17 years yeah yeah what's what do you feel like has been the coolest part about being in the media for you. Coolest parts? Yeah. Uh, well, meeting people is one. Yeah. Um, the coolest stretch probably Sanyu FM those two years. Yeah. Yo. You were the man. I think one we're night, one day on Sanyu FM mm. is worth like 10 months anywhere. Because it's in car radio. <laughs> yeah. It's in, so even people who don't like radio yeah. will listen to you. Yeah. So I had times where I'll do a link and an ex-teacher or mm. friend, whatever. But it's that you? Yeah. yeah. Other places you had to convince guys to... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> to keep going. So sign you because of that. Because of you. I mean, if it wasn't at sign you, hey. We wouldn't have. M- See what I well, mean? Well, we didn't meet at sign you. I mean, me- listen. Met, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. And then I kept thinking, oh my God, when will I ever meet KK? And then I met KK. Yeah. And he was actually, you did live up to yeah. the name. You know, so many people be like, you sound good on radio, but when you meet the person in but person. But you're a dick. Like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so KK, do you feel like you're misunderstood? A lot. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think? is the one thing people really misunderstand about you. I worked on radio. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so people hear you mm. and think you're big and tall and strong and you are like seven foot two and whatever. <laughs> and then you show up and you're this little skinny kid that's stuttering and they're like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you get So yeah. radio, a lot of times uh, I get into uh, invites to come and uh, MC at, at events. Yeah. And so I show up and they're like, I was always kicking and I'm like, well, I'm here. I'm like, but you're a child. Yeah. <laughs> you get Because. Because what are they expecting? A taller, bigger guy mm. with a. When I did Sign Your FM the two years, I was still a child. I was like in my early, early 20s. Yeah. You get I'm showing up with a little scruffy beard, <laughs> uh, little dirty sneaks, and they're like, where's, where's the guy in the tuxedo yeah. that, that had all this? So yeah, being on radio, because uh, it's the theater of the mind. Yeah. I, I found so many ways to cook people that uh, when we met, they thought, wait, this is this, this not the dude. Yeah. yeah. And you know, like, um, they usually say, like, to thrive on radio yeah. or, or in media in general, you have to have, like, controversial opinions. What's your most controversial? I know you, first of all, I know you may not subscribe to that school of thought. Yeah. But I just was leading up to this question. Work with me. Yeah, I'm working what's with your, you. What's your most controversial 
take? What's your hottest take? To be honest, in a country like ours where there's a lot of betting, mm. everyone is into that betting world and every sports show has a betting company. I just don't believe in betting. I, I actually want the kids out there not to get into it. Yeah. It's the worst thing in the world. It's, uh, I've seen my friends get depressed, lose a lot of money. Yet the companies have the biggest ads and whatever. And, and if I ever have a sports show, and I'm so broke, but the only way to make money was off a betting company. Yeah. I'd tell him to F off. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Yeah, because cause it's, it's, it's nasty. Yeah, yeah. I, it actually does ruin lives. I saw somewhere, though, a guy who learned how to beat the system. And he's actually banned from all Las See Vegas. What I mean. Las Vegas. Thank you. Las Vegas um, casinos, casinos and everything. Because yeah. everybody knows that he knows how to beat the system and he's won so much money. There are no clocks in there. Yeah. Even right now, I see friends. There are no clocks, there are barely windows. And you know what's crazy? Yeah. The first two times you, bl you place a bet on Yochi Arsenal, Yochi Chelsea, you actually win. Yeah. You're like, okay, I, I won with 5K and there's something about money coming to your phone. Mm. It's addictive. Mm. You've received 150K, like, whoa. I love this life. So every you time you're a bit broke. Then you try to look back for that high. Yeah. And then you make a mistake. Sabrina gives you 1.5 million to go invest in her fees. Mm. You go say, you know what, let me make this 3 million. Yeah. Hey! Then you lose Sabrina's money. Then you go ask the other guy to give you 400,000 to replace. Oh, no, no, no. It's yeah. the worst little rabbit hole you ever get into. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, that's deep. That's way deeper than I expected you to be, KK. What, what did you think? What did the person before me say? <laughs> she didn't say anything. <laughs> okay, great. Let's move on. But, um... On a lighter note, yeah. what's something that, you know, true to the name of the podcast, what's mm. something that you feel like is too serious that people should just chill? Like, it's never that serious. Life. Oh, my goodness. That, that's so grand. That's, a, that's a general of an answer. Life. <laughs> just the other day, there's this yeah. guy, we're fighting some guys, yeah. the village. And before 8 o'clock, I, I was geared up to assure him on the phone. Mm. I had more info than him, more stats about this fight. And so I go pray. Uh, meditate, go into my zone. He calls back and I just switched up my tone and we became best friends. And I realized the devil gets into you and makes yeah. little headlines be so big. Mm. The guy hate this person. But if they went and they brushed their teeth and came back, mm. you, you like the person, right? Yeah. And so life, we life. over over life and when you look back and you realize you know it's not that serious it's never that serious it's never that serious. it's actually most mostly never that serious it's i remember I, I remember i read a book yeah um it's called a little red book that's actually what it's called yeah and this guy talked about like dealing with heated situations yeah and he's like have you ever noticed the tone that you approach someone with is usually how the conversation is going to Thank go you. so if you calm down Thank you know you. but if it's that oh do you know who i am mm. And who are you, my slowly by slowly, who are you? I'm surrounding myself with people who have that, that energy. People yeah. like my friend Joku is clean. And, yeah. and people who just, they bonga everyone from the Askari to the boss. Yeah. I roll with such people. Because mm. life is not that serious. If you could have dinner with somebody, dead mm. or alive. Dead or alive. Who would it be? That would be, that would be crazy, digging them up. Uh, <laughs> talking about the maggots and stuff. Uh, no. Would they eat? They'd be dead. <laughs> Can I get two people? I guess in this scenario, <laughs> if we say dead or alive, you died and your spirit is there uh, that's yeah, doing okay. the job. Uh, <laughs> We're let me, not let me pick two people, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, I have to have my dad. Of course. Yeah, because he died when I was really, really young. I was like in S2. Yeah. And we didn't have those conversations of, man, what's up with chicks though? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get yeah. I didn't ask him for like a mature loan. Our convos were around ice cream and read your books. I, I'd, I'd love to have a mature conversation with my dad, you know, yeah. and tell him what's up. Uh, also, The Undertaker, the guy from wrestling. I like What? Yeah. But I'm so confused I right know, now. because I, I grew up watching WWE and I love those guys from Hulk Hogan, The Rock. Yes. But The Undertaker's personality really got to me where I was just like, dude, how do you get into a casket and stay sane? Also, his, his persona on the screen is not the same guy, you know, when you're talking to him. When you're talking to Mark Calloway, his real name, he's a very calm guy. He loves his wife. He's very chill. He reads the Bible. You're like, wait a minute. But on TV, you're the nastiest, darkest dude. So such guys intrigue me. Yeah? Do you know, like, back when we were kids, when The Undertaker would be having, like, a, 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 what do they call it? Is it a match? Yeah. When he'd have a match, they would send us to bed. Thank you. Because it was that scary. Rest like, in Like, peace. he'd come with a coffin and, like... Thank you. The like, coffin thing. The like first zombies. time I saw the coffin thing, I didn't sleep for days. Yeah. So I'd love to meet Mark Holloway and ask him. And he's just the sweetest guy in wrestling. That right. Is such, that is such a plot twist. Like I can't, I can't, I could never have imagined. I, I think this is the reverse of my radio thing. Yes. Since they can't see you and your little guy, sound big. 
Well, for him, he's already a big guy destroying guys. You want to know what Calm his personality is really like. Yeah. So you seem like such a chill guy. What's the one thing you don't leave your house without? Clothes. I mean, KK, stop it. Stop it immediately. <laughs> I think that is for legal reasons. Yeah, but you know, I don't have a national ID. I, I'm one of those guys who's so chill. I don't care for the things. You don't have a national ID? I got it in 2014 and lost it like two months later. <laughs> so for the last 10 years, because it's 2024, right? I haven't had a national ID. And guess what? I'm okay. You see what I mean? I don't know if that's information you want the world People, people know. scare you. You can't do things. You can't go through things. You can't drink this. You can't, but I, I don't have a national ID. You know what? I walk through Next Media every single day. I, I go to important places like this place. Where is this? And nothing. And it has never Listen, once life, eh? come up. Today, I can vibe. If you have the biggest smile, you walk through State House. How did you open up a bank account? Like, I'm so curious because it got to a point where even us guys who had already opened with like our passports, or whatever, mm -hmm. they called us and told us, come back with your national ID. Mm -hmm. Vibe. Okay. Who are you talking to? Yeah. You walk into their office. Do they have a, an, an Arsenal a little cap there? Mm -hmm. Like, so what's up with Arsenal? We are losing these days. And I'm a man, you guy. Oh my they goodness. won't ask for that ID. KK, you know how to vibe people. You, you vibe your way through life all the time he's just vibing 10 years okay. the national id what, what is what is the best what is the worst relationship advice you've ever gotten uh, i love you <laughs> <laughs> that's not our advice it's Kenny. kind of is <laughs> that's not advice. Uh, i think I've, I've had so many i love you through my life and they're all fake mm -hmm. uh, i think i think um just love love is I, I'm learning about love more and more every year. Like I, I, I learn to earn, learn to relearn some bullshit. But uh, <sighs> what advice you. anyone ever go, gave you? Uh, advice, not, not like statement. Uh, okay, great. Uh, for uh, chief, chief, <laughs> don't give up on love. <laughs> <laughs> so as it stands, you've given up. As it sits, don't as give we up sit. on love. Yeah, I, I think. I think given up on love. I think till death do you do us part. Mm -hmm. Is the worst advice to give anyone. Yeah. Yeah. That line, till death. Oh no 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 no. That, that's why I love reading my my holy book. Yeah. Because it says if you're fed up of your person, uh, hey, take I your mean, time. That's a bit cold. Split. Yeah. Do the four months, ten days. Di, 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 mm. But but don't stay but in don't love. Force. Don't force it because someone say till death do us part. Yeah. Because death will do you part. I Dying agree. because you're sick of their. Crap. I, I get that. Yeah. I feel like um, the worst relationship advice is someone should love you as you are. Right? Because some people really ain't shit. And that's the truth. True. Yeah. yeah. Like, you, sh you, should, you should be lovable, but tweak your personality and be also uh, understanding of other people. Word. Right? Like, yeah. you can't be a selfish person and say, me, you love me as I am. Uh, how am I supposed to love you? Only you're Jesus selfish? says, come as you are. <laughs> exactly. You get everyone else freshen up. I think, I think I already know the answer to this question. Go on. We'll try. If you could have an endless supply of something, I already know the answer, don't I? <laughs> if you could have an endless supply of something, what would it be? This conversation. Oh. oh you know I love okay. you, Sam. Come on, girl. I've, I've been on your team forever. <laughs> We're going to go for a commercial break. But the the, the, <laughs> the thing you're thinking about, by the way, this year, <laughs> yeah. January 1st, I took a break. Yeah. Whatever you're thinking about. That is exactly what I was thinking January about. January 1st, oh. I thought, you know what? Let me see if I can be there without it. Mm. Look at me. And we vibing. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. I, I know for a fact during uh, Ramadan. <laughs> yeah. But even, now, day, yeah. but even now. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Look at my lips. <laughs> <laughs> kind of giving it away. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Listen, Vaseline is everything. So I, mm. I can't do without Vaseline. So. Yeah. I know. I know. You always stay moisturized. Absolutely. Okay. Let's, let's shift gear. In a, sim <laughs> in a similar line of, of, of you know the question I just asked yeah. what's something like if you could only eat this one thing for the rest of your life what could it be what would it be is this a kid show um oh my god <laughs> Kenny I'm kidding no 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 Baha. why listen, are you listen. like this I am a sucker for 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 I just I, I, I love you, you can milkshakes are, you can eat milkshakes right or you sip milkshakes <laughs> I guess you sip you drink I, I love milkshakes before it used to be you know pork chops yeah. <laughs> bacon but yeah. it's been uh, 11 years without that stuff yeah. and i when I, every time i go to a restaurant the first thing i look out for is the milkshake the milkshake section the what's, smoothies what's your favorite milkshake depends where we are yeah some places it's their red velvet 
some places it's their Oreo. Have you tried that? Yeah, the red velvet one with like chunks of cake. Yeah, and I'm like, whose birthday is it? I yeah. <laughs> only asked for a milkshake, dude. But they like to show off. I feel like someone needs to invent a milkshake with cheesecake. Like a cheesecake milkshake. Oh, God, that's too much. I feel like it would be too much goodness. I actually think it's there. <laughs> it's there? Yeah, I've seen some crazy things in those Dubai catalogs. Yeah. On TV, <laughs> not like I've been there, but yeah. Well, they just mess with stuff. I want to. I want to. Somebody, that's someone's assignment. Yeah. This week, somebody in Uganda <laughs> needs to come up with that cheesecake milkshake. They pr- some guy is probably thinking, these guys are slow to the party. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. We'll check AI. Say that again? We'll ask AI. It has all the answers these days. Yeah. Yeah. So, you're a cool guy, in my opinion. Thank you. And um, I, I think I'll keep saying that until the end of the show. Keep going. You know cool people. You know cool guys know cool people. Yeah. Give us um, a recommendation of like a personality you feel like is underrated. Somebody who is in any in any mm. genre. It could be sport. It could be TV, Uganda? movies, Uganda, worldwide, wherever. Just put us onto somebody right now. God, that's a tough one because there's so many people who are underrated. Who are so cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, from, I mean, even with all his hype, I still think Daniel Kaluuya is underrated. You get even yeah. all the awards and him scaring the whole of Hollywood. Uh, she's, I think I think my friend Joquis Clean. Can I can I shout him out? Yeah. That guy is so underrated. Yeah. He is so chill. Yeah. Like if companies knew what this guy was about, he'd be uh, top management. Cause it's all about vibe, and you'd want to work for a guy like that. You'd yeah. want to you want to hear what he has to say. And I feel right now we live in a world where companies are hiring. Oh, this guy's got experience, and he's got a and he's got a ring. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, there's cool kids out there who are in their prime, and they have an amazing. Thing about them and they, they could lead a, a company in two millions yeah, yeah and I, I worked with joquiz <laughs> you had an did, amazing did, yeah, countdown we, together we did oh joquiz. and he said only the best things about you and, yeah. and every single day you guys used to lift each other's up yeah and, and i think from that we, me and joquiz had a fight once and i was like oh my you guys God, fought i must be a nuisance because who fights with joke no we fight we, we fight every day by the way Don't yeah worry about it. we fight every yeah, day joquiz yeah joquiz is, is just he's so sweet but he can also be very hard-headed absolutely but do you see how he and just I'm also flows hard-headed. with Every body, yeah, and yeah. that's that's a gift. Yeah, if you had twenty four hours, yeah, to live, if you these are your last twenty four hours, yeah. how are you spending your day? Well, I'm here now, so uh, <coughs> yeah, I think with my son, we must just telling yeah. him stuff like yo. Yeah. So here's the thing. So here's the thing. So oh, oh, oh here's the thing. Yeah, yeah I'd, I'd break giving it him down some for life him. tips. Yeah, we'd, we'd talk. Yeah, we'd talk and chill and just spend them just talking and because he's gonna then carry me on. Mm. So I need to have that little yellow boy um, have, you know, what I know from the yeah. last uh, 40 years. Okay. Yeah, man. You guys make me sound so shallow because everybody has like a deep thing for me. Mm. Well, anyway, what? Let's last 24 move. hours, what would you do? Where would you go? Who would you? Last uh, 24 hours, I'd order my favorite meal. Um, would you eat knowing you're going to die? Y- yeah. Me, I'm going for a show. Like, I'm always like, know, oh, I have no appetite. <laughs> I'd, 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 that's true. Depending on if I could eat, uh. I would eat. Like I'd order my favorite meal that whole. I'd have like a spread, yeah. milkshake, what, what, what. I'd do all the things that I feel like I can't get away with doing. And then I told, I, like, I, I, I probably would get wasted. Because, you know, okay, the, okay, at you, the you, end you, of the okay, day. You, okay, you have no hangover because you'll be dead. Because I'll be dead. And you, have, you won't poop because you'll be dead. So your best food and you will be inside. Every lactose intolerant. Can I take my yours? Food. Yeah, best food. <laughs> but that's what you do in jail when you have like, when you're wearing the orange and you're about to be killed. Death row. <laughs> What's your final meal? Then you, yeah. <laughs> your mama. <laughs> but what would your final meal be? Milkshakes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Okay. A cheesecake, a cheese, a blueberry cheesecake, and red velvet. I wasn't even going to ask you this question, but you're such a straight and narrow person. I have to ask, if straight and narrow because I'm skinny. If, if, <laughs> <laughs> if crime was legal for a day, yeah. What would you do? If crime was legal for a day, I go ban my schools. Ah. I love them you now. You hated them that Because much? I look back at how they're... But when I was there, I didn't like them much. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd go and help the kids right now who are there. Because my biggest dream was seeing my school burn down. I was being told in the morning, Wait, guess what? There's a school burnt down. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Do you know who the happiest kids were? When Sevo said, And now the lockdown is here. Kids in school are the happiest. Exactly. Yes, they got bored. Yes, there was a lot of... Cr- but not having to go to school, I wish it happened in my time. I think I'm going to have scrapped that question out because everyone's answers are just giving what was yours? Lusira at some point in life. What was yours? Um, I, I haven't answered that question. But what okay, would let me ask you. Welcome, welcome to the KK Podcast. Uh-huh. Not Katoka Tende, but Karim Kachramu. I'm glad you asked. Fraud. I would go and fraud all the ATMs in Kampala. I'd look for ways to steal their money. Yeah. I, would, I would steal money. That's my crime. I would steal money. And do what with it? 
live my best life buy plane tickets <laughs> go and go travel to Greece or something would you enjoy though you wouldn't I probably would why would you hiding you're no, under you plastic remember, surgery it's legal for one day it's, that oh, means it's no one is going to look day. for me yeah I would marry you <laughs> and we go together we go together after you bunch your Till school death do us i've gotten the money when you inclined we we'll just make love on money <laughs> okay 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 thank you so much for coming through that's it no okay final final segment oh, this is this is called no context you're just going to say what you'd rather okay. this or that right all right comedy or horror horror is which it? of really? Okay, yeah, because 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 everyone's funny. Yeah, but not everyone's scary. That's true. Yeah, rich or famous? Rich, because when you're rich, you're famous. Yeah, you can. Oh, that you is Zimbabwe. Oh, you get it? Huh? Yeah, yeah. When you you're can, you can, yeah. you can set up fame when you're rich. Yeah, but I was like, fame can also make you rich. How many? All my friends are famous. <laughs> Say stop there. Keep Thank quiet. you. Keep quiet. We move. We continue. Cash or gifts? Cash. Yeah. Yeah. Because gifts, you, you get it wrong all the time. You buy this. This is not my size. What are you thinking about? Like, oh, I'm sorry. Cash. Or, <laughs> so you give me cash. Cash. Okay, let's date. Yeah. Appetizer or dessert? Because milkshakes are dessert, bro. So yeah. Dessert. And this year I'm off appetizer, so. <laughs> <laughs> if you got that, then you understand. <laughs> book or movie? Movie. Yeah. Because although, although with the book being a radio guy, book you create the thing in your head. In your head. Yeah, so you think, oh my gosh, Harry Potter is this guy, but when you watch the movie, like, wait a minute. Why is Malfoy like this? So, yeah. 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 I, I don't know. That, that's a tricky one. It depends. <laughs> it is. How big is the book? Big. Like, have you seen the Lord of the Rings ones? Ah. They were like, the Lord of the Rings book was like this thick. And I was like, who? The movies who were has three time? hours. What about the Game of Thrones one? Oh gosh. So, like. It's like, it's By not that serious. Game of Thrones readers. They used to ruin the thing for us. I know. This is not how Jon Snow dies. I'm like, yeah. shut up. The other day I was watching Griselda. <laughs> yeah. And I know that Griselda did not get... Oh, sorry. If you haven't watched it, don't watch I it. I haven't seen Stop Griselda. there. Stop there. You haven't seen it? Well, who is she? Griselda was like some mafioso in, in, um, in Miami. She was a cartel boss lady. Oh, bookmark that is. Godmother. Was well, she like it's the Escobar of the yes. Griselda? Yeah, and gotcha. it actually starts with a quote, the only woman, I, uh, the only man I ever feared was a woman from Escobar. Love it. Right? Yeah. Ding, ding, okay, so ding, I'm going to spoil. Should I spoil for you I move on with life? Uh, you tell me. I would still f- look surprised. It was going to look, it was going to be on Google anyway. Like Griselda didn't, didn't get killed by her enemies. She went to prison. So I said that out loud and everyone was like, no, you ruined it. I'm like, it's literally it's right. on Google. I'm like, not surprised. <laughs> what do you I, mean? The first five seasons of Game of Thrones were acting surprised. Love or money? Money. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Apple or Android? I'm an Android guy. Mm-hmm. Um, that's all I've been. But Apple stuff, if I'm, someone gives me an Apple thing, I'm like, oh my God, this is so cool. <laughs> uh, but those Apple charges are very expensive. Yeah. Android, baby. Yeah. Yeah. My charger blew the other day. Joe Quiz, like the other day, he put a screenshot and he's like, give up into my, uh, 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 we need 150k. 150k? Yeah. Me, Android, 10,000, and we are back in business. That's actually the biggest downside Bruh. of, of this. These are the same pictures. Right? L- lights on or lights off? A lights off, man. Yeah. Radio. Yeah? Yeah. Ass or tits? Ass. Uh, <laughs> tits are for babies. They need milk. I'm an ass guy. DC or Marvel? Man, those guys. I'm a DC guy, though. DC. That's the one with the, the with, with with Superman and yeah, Batman. Yeah, yeah Batman. I like those guys. The other guys, I feel like they, the other guys are like social media. They're trying so hard. Yeah. 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 All white or all black? All black. Hot or cold? Uh crap. Milkshakes are cold. Yeah. Colder. Eh? Yeah. Okay, makes sense. I'll do, survive you, in cold do, you, do you do you eat your cereal cold? It depends. Mm. If it's complex cold, if it's everything else, kind of warm. I feel like serial killers are the ones who eat their con- their cereal with cold milk. Cause what is that? Serial killers. Annoying. Like what's a cocoa that? pop? It's like people eat chocolate, <laughs> mint chocolate. The f- Why? Serial ki- what spells cereal? What's S E I? Or C E? You're such a fool. Kenny, thank you so much for dropping That's by. It? That's it. Oh Do you wanna stay? Do you wanna yeah. stay longer? Like okay, stay. This is better. My couch at home. You can stay. <laughs> I'm at home and it's a bed bug. I'm like, yeah. Guys, don't forget, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's never that serious. We'll be back um, every other week or every week. I've not yet decided. When I decide, you'll see me more frequently. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think or if you have any questions that you think I should ask my guests. Until next time, bye.